Hi everyone, I'm Amma and I study medicine at Oxford and today I'm going to be teaching you how to think like an Oxford academic. I'm going to be answering an interview question using the PESC framework. The question I'll be answering today is this. About one in four deaths in the UK is due to some form of cancer, yet in the Philippines this figure is only around one in ten. What factors might underlie this difference? From my reading, I know that cancer is the second leading cause of death globally and all countries around the world report high incidences. However, I think it's really interesting that it takes up a different proportion of mortality in different countries. I think to answer this question, we need to consider the political, economical, social and cultural differences between the UK and the Philippines, as this might be contributing to the discrepancy in figures. So in terms of political factors, the governmental organisation of healthcare facilities might underlie the difference in cancer death rate. So for example, in the UK, we have the NHS, which is a nationwide um, healthcare system run by the government, which is able to routinely give high quality care. On the other hand, in the Philippines, a lot of healthcare facilities are run mm -hmm. privately rather than by the government. And this means that facilities actually vary a lot um, between urban and rural areas. And as a result of this, I think the Philippines probably see a much higher incidence of childhood deaths from diseases that have been practically eradicated in the West due to national vaccination programmes such as polio. So given the lower life expectancy of um, the average person in the Philippines, um, you could argue that you'll see less cancer and lots of cancers tend to develop with age due to more contact with risk factors. A similar point can be risen if we consider the economical situation of both countries. So the UK is considered a developed country whilst the Philippines is considered a developing country and this means the general quality of living in the Philippines might be lower than that of the UK. As a result the Philippines might have a lower cancer death rate as people might be dying more from other diseases that may be environmentally linked, for example waterborne diseases such as cholera um, that have a low incidence in the UK due to um, like high water sanitation, for instance. As a result, you could argue that um, the Philippines has a lower death rate from cancer as people are dying from other diseases. Then we can consider social factors. So, for example, in the Philippines, um, a lot of people work in the agricultural sector, so as farmers or fishermen, for example, whilst in the UK, a lot of work is desk-based. And as a result, people in the Philippines may actually be a lot fitter than the average person in the UK, and that would therefore put them at a lower risk of cancer development, hence the lower death rate from the disease. Lastly, we can consider cultural factors. So I know that in the Philippines, the majority of people are religious, identifying usually as Christian and a small minority as Muslim. And as a result, their beliefs might guide their behavior. So for example, maybe sacred beliefs about the sanctity of life may result in lower rates of smoking and drinking as that doesn't kind of fall in line with their beliefs. On the other hand, in the UK, we have quite like um, a heavy kind of drinking and smoking culture kind of surrounded, um, centered around pubs. And also we see obesity rates in the UK and the, and the West in general just rising every single year. Um, and these are risk factors for cancer and that might therefore underlie why the UK has a higher death rate. So those are some reasons why I think um, might be why the Philippines have a lower death rate for cancer in the UK. However, I think we need to ask to consider other aspects um, of the problem to come to a more conclusive answer. So for example, I think we should consider death rates for cancer in different age rates between the countries, maybe consider different death rates from specific types of cancer as there may be more patterns underlying it rather than just cancer in general. So that is how I would answer the question. Hopefully you guys found that helpful and thank you for listening.